Hey, I'm back. Uh, had a little more to add. I added a little shelf down here for all my tools. I love how they all match. The, uh, the yellow and black is just... And then uh, the dust collector's going. I just put this uh, silver tube on here to test it out and it was just not quite long enough to reach the floor. So I just uh, put everything on a piece of, put, swept the dust onto a piece of plywood and it pulled it right up and dropped it right down where it's supposed to. I did have to go in and adjust the angle of the pipe that comes in right here because it was coming in and somehow it had gotten turned and it was going like pretty much um, parallel to the floor and so I just tilted it down about uh, 32 and a half degrees. I'm just kidding, I didn't measure it. Um, but that gets a nice little cyclone and you can't, I mean it's not really transparent but you can kind of see what's going on in there. I guess I could put a light behind it and that would make it easier to see. But uh, yeah, pretty happy with it. And I think the, um, I think that these, these are, these right here are actually intended for water, for people who have uh, like a well or a water system, a rainwater collection or something like that. But they're a really perfect shape for this because you've got a really wide top, which diffuses the suction power of the, uh, the exhaust air. And then it's got this natural constriction down here. And so I've got the whole, you know, Coca-Cola bottle um, wasp waste constriction there in the middle. And it just, it makes, a, it makes a really great cyclone. So I think the total cost for this project was about 30 bucks, probably less than that. Um, although I do still need to see where I can get another hose like this because um, you, it just loses so much suction power going through the vacuum hose. I mean, the, the suction through that smaller vacuum hose is just weak, weak. Um, because this thing's really good at moving a lot of air, but it doesn't, um, you know, it has more cubic feet per minute, but it doesn't have the same power that a vacuum does. And even though the vacuum is moving less air, it's got more torque, I get maybe torque. I don't know what that is. It's got more pressure. It's got more pressure, or negative pressure, I guess. So, uh, I wonder, I'm, I'm gonna see if there's some way I can hook up both to the same system. They do have these one-way air valves that will automatically shut. So, what I can do is I can hook the vacuum up and this thing up both to this. And then if I turn this on, there'll be a little one-way valve in the vacuum hose connection that'll automatically close. And then the suction will come through here and there'll be a little bit of leakage, but I mean, I, I think that there won't be so much that I can't deal with it. And then, um, you know, if I really need tremendous suction power, I can turn on both of them, which I really can't do because that vacuum cleaner, this thing is 550 watts. Um, that vacuum cleaner is adjustable, but it goes up to 2000 watts, which, you know, that's two thirds of my power supply. <laughs> I don't think I can run the vacuum cleaner and the planer at the same time, although I think the table saw will be okay. I'm not exactly sure what the table saw is rated at. I don't know how many watts it holds, but, uh, you know, I have a limited number of amps out here and I don't know what that limit is, but I'm going to assume it's 20 which at 220 volts gives me 4,400 watts. Um, but remember all the lighting is on that circuit. And uh, I, I think I'm gonna, I have a little bit of an issue to pick with the electricians here who, uh, cause I have the same problem in my kitchen. If you saw my earlier video, I think I did a video about that, but everything in my kitchen is also on one uh, 20 amp circuit and uh, 4,400 watts is not enough for a kitchen. Not when you have an electric stove, an electric oven, um, you know, all the lights, the hood uh, over the stove, you know, and a microwave and a toaster and a kettle and a food dehydrator and a toaster, you know, because, you know, believe it or not, sometimes, you know, like, we can't have all four burners running at once on our stove if we turn them all the way up to high um you can't have all four burners running because it'll flip the uh because that's that, apparently that's more than 4400 watts 
So, bleh. or no, 42, I guess it's 4,200 watts. 220 volts times 20 amps. Um, so yeah, you got dust collection? I have electrical problems. <laughs> I mean, you know, this is my power supply right here. This, this, this uh, priceless little um, connection right there. And, Slava uh, Ukraine. Strona Vazmoznosti. God save Ukraine. It's the, it's the, uh, the country, or the, the country of um, opportunity. Uh, you can see Ukrainian saying, Ukrainians kind of say it sarcastically, but I actually believe it. You know, I, I, uh, there's a lot of potential here and it's untapped and it just takes, you know, somebody who's not corrupt <laughs> to want to do good things. Um, but anyway, so, well, happy new year's to everybody and, uh, take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Oh, and Hey, take care of me if you'd like to by subscribing maybe clicking the notification icon and leaving a few comments, you know? If you've got any ideas about how I could improve this system um, or anything else, uh, let me know, because I love hearing from you and I will try to reply to anybody who leaves a message. All right, that's me signing off. Oh, hey everybody, one more note. I just wanted to let you uh, check out this massive, cool leather apron I got. Um, for New Year's, for my wonderful wife, it is a uh, plus three apron masterwork of woodworking, and uh, I love it. And you know, I think it brings the smell. This this workshop has three smells to it. The first is sawdust, the second is coffee, and the third is leather. And those are all smells that I just really love. Um, the only way you could improve it is by baking some bread. Um, but yeah, this thing is, you know, it has, it has literally already saved me time because I have these great pockets that I can drop my tape measure into and um, all my, you know, other little tools that I use all the time. My little right angle thing, um, it's square and all those, you know, it's just, and you can put screws. It's got, it's got lots of pockets down here and it's comfortable to wear. It doesn't, you know, it protects me if I'm, you know, this thing is, this is good thick leather and the stitching on this is really good. It's got, you know, these are really, the, the straps are really well attached and uh, it's made in Ukraine. So oh yeah, I absolutely love it. It's definitely, uh, it's a great, great present. And thank you to Natalia, who I know is gonna watch this. So love you, baby. And uh, all right, that's all I have to say about that. It's an awesome apron and I'm super glad I have it. And thank you again, Natalia, and goodbye, everyone else.